What up, what up, everyone? We are in Qian. I think that's how you say it. Qian, Qian. A very important city, historical city. One of the ancient cities of China. In fact, this city, if I'm not mistaken, was, uh, oh man, do I go this way? No, nope, I keep going straight. Let me keep going straight. My bad, guys. This area, this region was home to many kingdoms many dynasties of china back in the day i think it was over 10 roughly around what was it 13 maybe something like that over 10 i know that for sure and so many emperors they called this place home many emperors wanted this as their kingdom so definitely there's a lot of history here another thing to point out is this place is said to be the birthplace of chinese civilization the cradle of chinese civilization and last but not least, this region is also considered to be the starting point of the Silk Road, which for the record wasn't just one road. It was a network of routes, pathways from China, you know, East Asia to the West, which was very interesting. So in this video, we're going to walk around. We're going to check out a, a few sites, a few attractions, basically the main ones. And what I'm going to do is show you the area during the day. And then I'm gonna go back at night because personally I prefer to explore China at night. Many of the buildings are lit up. The scenery is great. It's more active, more people out. The vibe is just, it's just lovely. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we're walking to the first destination right now. You know, it's a place you come to when it regards to uh, architecture. The bell tower, you can take a picture right there. And uh, we're gonna go left side. And here goes the view. Like I said, I'm sure at night, this view is going to be, be lovely. This is the daytime view and it's it's noon right now, so very hot, very sunny. Same similar, this is the drum tower. We have the bell tower, and then here goes the drum tower right here. And uh, can you tell why it's called the drum tower? Oh, look at this. Some pretty big drums. And I don't know if this is on purpose or someone's doing something, but there's a lot of birds flying around. I don't know if you see this. I don't know what the deal is, but it has definitely some scenery. All right, here goes the drum tower. Here goes what it looks like, beautiful. All right, we're headed to the Muslim quarter. About to check out the scenery. I'll walk through real quick. 
not really hungry. But if I had to guess, it's gonna be uh, a lot of food stalls. And remember, this is a weekday. This is uh, how they get down on weekdays. Oh, that looks colorful over there. Pro tip whenever eating out, especially when you're eating street food, find the spot where the majority of people are at so you know the food is fresh. I think these are, oh yeah, these are burgers. Right there, burgers. Soups. Oh man, I love seeing people whipping up food. Look over there. One thing you notice, no measuring cup. If you get to a place, oh, there goes the noodles right there. Different sauces. If you get to a spot and you see uh, measuring cups, go ahead and turn away. Oh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what these are. My first time seeing these. Okay, I don't know what this is. Oh. All right, yeah. Oh, dates, dates. Okay, that's what they are. I think they're dates. Oh man, look at this stuff. Yeah, ooh, I have no idea what this stuff is. For the record, hey, hello. For the record, I'm not gonna have a, a guide for this city, a, a foodie guide. Yeah, but the food looks uh, pretty interesting. Oh, I know what this is. Everyone knows what this is. Soup dumplings. Everyone's paying with the uh, their phone. Basically, I mean, for the most part, you can consider this a cashless society. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Different size streets. Again, like I said, selling clothing. You can get lost here. You can get lost here. I don't want this video to be an hour long, but just know you can get lost. We'll probably come back, like I said, we'll come back at night and uh, check out the night vibe. Oh, let me squeeze through here. Yeah, there were some side streets I wanted to check out. Uh, you guys get the picture. You guys get the picture. Oh, and I think this is supposed to be a uh, popular dish here. Where they whip the, they make the noodles right here. Yeah. Right, and then you got the ingredients all right here. Puts it in there. All right. I think what we're seeing right now is uh, we're leaving the fortification. We're leaving the inner area. So around this historic part, there's a wall, basically. I think this is what we're leaving right now. And then we're heading to the outside area, the outer part. Here goes the V once you leave the gate. Here goes one of the gates right here. We just left the Muslim quarter. Muslim quarter. 
And then uh, we're heading straight. I got a 40 minute walk. The subway's 30 minutes. The walk is 40 minutes. I'll let them go. So I'm like, I'll just walk it. I lied to you guys. I'm gonna catch the Metro. It's a little too hot. Here it goes right here. I'm trying to squeeze through everyone. Uh, not gonna catch it. But yeah, we're taking the Metro. We're about to enter the pagoda, but real quick, let me show you something. I don't know what any of that says, but I'm sure it's deep, saying something deep. Let's go. Oh, stairs and stairs, guys. Guys, we're actually, the stairs actually go to the top. I didn't know that. We're, so we're all making the trek to the top, tippy top. Check out the views. Keep going up, 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 up. They make you work for it here in China. All right, think we're at the top now? No. Check out the views going this way. If you don't want to climb to the top, I got you guys. Here you go. There are views pretty much on each side. I'll go straight this way. Oh, excuse me. And look at all of this. Pretty sure at night all these places are going to be lit up. So I may have to hide this again to show you guys the views, but all these buildings straight ahead will be lit up. I've seen a picture of this online. Then you can see the skyline in the background. <laughs> Feels kind of like Beijing, a mixture of ancient and modern. a different angle it seemed like this city is always busy it's a it's a weekday it's Wednesday and I took a DD here their version of uber and the streets were pretty packed so it seems like the city's always pretty pretty crowded pretty busy super touristy give you one more view and then we'll, we'll make our walk to the uh, main area Let's keep it going. Here goes this walkway. Very beautiful. Oh, I'm just following them. Oh, don't, okay. I don't know what it, this is saying, but oh, let me get through there. Yeah, this is a great place to take pictures. Whoever owns the lighting company here, man, they must be rich. All right, let's get up in here. Oh, just in time, we're crossing. Ah, I should've went that way.
Oh, guys, you see all of this. I'm not walking through there. You guys get it. If I had to guess, a whole bunch of food stalls, bubble tea, noodles. They have their own version of noodles here, belt noodles. Yeah, I'm not walking all through all of that, but there you go. Oh, you guys know I love stairs. We got more stairs over there. We have this. If you're not really big in the architecture, I know you're like, oh, I don't care about seeing this, but if you're into history, architecture, scenery, you plan to come to Chien? Oh, yeah. So we can go to the left. Uh, they have something over here. Hold on. Oh, okay, that's uh, into the city. Let's go up here real quick. As I stated earlier, you can rent a bike and ride on the top, which I plan to do later. Or maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But let's just walk up, get a quick preview. Yep. You ride all along this. You probably can't see on camera, but oh man, the end is pretty far. They go straight to the right. It's like a square. And then, uh, wait, let's go this way. Here's the other side. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a ride. I'm a ride. Uh, I can't even talk right now. I'm tired. Mouth is dry. I'm gonna rent a bike, ride down there, to show you the scenery. And it's gonna be during the evening time. It should be a lot more scenic. So I'm gonna go rest up, and I'm gonna holla at you guys. A lot of people. Oh, uh, yes, a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll try. Oh, it's pretty busy over here, guys. I tried to come earlier, but uh, hold on, let me uh, I'll go over here. All right, never mind, I'll go over here. There we go. Litchi black tea, my favorite fruit as of today is litchi, and they have litchi black tea because here they don't drink it with sugar, but litchi is naturally sweet. So, wow, it's hot too. Yeah, hot too. The tea is hot too. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, sweet. 